Wait a minute, hold on. I'm back, got fresh on the scene. Franchise best on the team. Blue faces busting out the scene. New life is something like a dream. Back out fresh on the scene. Franchise best on the team. Blue faces busting out the scene. New life is something like a dream. Good morning, YouTube. And no, your eyes do not deceive you. My hair is, in fact, straightened. I'm not going to show off too much of the length right now. We're not going. Don't, 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 don't do it. We're not going to ruin it, okay? Gotta, gotta leave a little bit of mystery, you feel me? But yes, your eyes do not deceive you. We are straightening my hair in today's video. Where we are. It has been a year, this lump right here. I noticed that I couldn't get that good of like a trim on my blow dry hair. It just wasn't blow drying out as straight as I would like. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and take the leap. But it, you did this for what? Why not? <laughs> Why? Why not? <laughs> Why though? This is about a week later, so I'm just getting ready for my morning. I wanted to do an intro for the team, you know what I'm saying? I love y'all. Um, I hope you enjoy. I'm gonna actually include a video about how I prep to straighten my hair after this um, or before it, but either way, it's going up. So I really hope y'all are comfortable, you've stretched, you've done your warm-ups because I certainly had to mentally prepare for this athletic event that we call straightening natural hair, aka bicep curls, aka push-ups and pull-ups. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually detangling my hair. Uh, this is more the nape of my neck, so it's actually a mixture of my regular hair and then baby hair that's grown out. So it may look a little like damage, but it's really just that my hair kind of grows a little far down the nape of my neck so that's just something i have to deal with but when i get into the next section you'll see that uh, my hair definitely thickens up a bit and you want to make sure that you're detangling with something that has really fine teeth i know i mentioned that so fine that hair almost wants to get caught up in it girl okay you see i usually like to use an actual carbon um, fine tooth comb that's one of my favorite options I don't know why I didn't use it this time around um, so that's a question for past tense Brie like Brie girl why was you using your Denman but I mean the Denman actually does add a nice bit of tension when you curl it to the side and also I you know have a gripe when people do straightening videos for their hair and they don't say which heat setting they're using this Dyson flat iron only comes with three heat settings I believe I'm using the one that's like 400 or 410. I have very thick, very coarse hair, y'all. So I, I have to go up that high if I want to get my hair to come out like a silk press. Um, when I did my last straightening video, I actually did it on the second setting, which was like 325 or 350. Girl, I got to double check. And a lot of people were commenting on how it looked kind of like a blowout, da, da 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 So I was like, all right, let's go up a notch and see what it's hitting for on the max setting. When I did that video, y'all, it was a pouring, raining day in London, and I was about to get on a plane for 17 hours. Uh, so I was like, you know, not really pressed to use maximum heat on my hair when I was going to go right into the rain. Now I'm using my cheese silk infusion, y'all, like, this is tried and true. Even when I had a relaxer back in the day, this was something that I used in my hair a lot, and my hair, uh, even with the relaxer, was really flourishing. It's all about the prep and the products really, really do matter when you're straightening your hair, y'all. Like sometimes I'll be thinking, oh, it's it's my hair or because my hair is natural, it can't do this, that, the third. No, it's, it's coming down to the heat setting in the products. And I know some people are probably gonna mention my finger being so close to the flat iron. I have to reiterate, y'all, these Dyson plates are inside of that little, the cone shaping of the outside of the flat iron. So, you know, of course, I wouldn't let my finger like get too, too close. But right here, it's not even hot where my finger is because there's actually a little guard there, which I think all flat irons should do because I used to get burnt up in my scalp from the uh, the traditional flat irons. Make sure you are taking breaks while you are doing this, y'all, because it is not a, sl uh, not a slow. I was going to say not a fast process, though, with this Dyson flat iron, since I don't have to worry about burning my scalp. Ooh, child, we got one fourth of the way done. Though I don't have to worry about burning my scalp, I actually move a lot, lot, lot faster through the back of my head because that's something that used to take me a while is placing the flat iron just right so it's close enough to your roots but far away enough from your scalp and, um, and that would make the back and middle of my head just be agony. So that's something that as y'all can see, I'm moving right on through. 
again small sections i could have done my sections even smaller in all honesty y'all but i was not trying to keep you here or myself here all night you feel me also i have to note that when y'all see the link check at the end this footage is actually from november of 2020 so you know uh, it's actually <laughs> april now 2021 like yikes y'all i told y'all i have so much footage and so many videos to post that are just you know waiting but i was wrapped up go check out my last video where i speak about why that is but yeah y'all and and if you notice the technique i'm actually pressing down two or three times on my roots really good because your roots are you know where there's the most heat in your scalp when you take showers that's the area that's going to revert the fastest so i genuinely just like to make sure my roots are, are really really straight and then i kind of do one pass through the ends and yeah using a good serum is also a good idea y'all because you won't have to do as many passes and i think that's why a heat protecting serum is you know one of the best things you can do for straightening your hair it gives you the gloss the shine and you don't have to be you know doing the most it's kind of like tanning oil if that makes sense like tanning oil helps you get a tan really fast without being in the sun too long and i feel like it's the same y'all look at that we got one section left i know y'all know how i feel okay because every time i get to the end of any style that takes long look at this moment y'all see me smiling into the camera that is not forced that is genuine genuine joy look at that up oh, slow-mo slow-mo oh she did it we did it i told y'all y'all was helping me today so look at that all right so now what i'm gonna do bonus clip bonus video y'all i'm gonna show y'all because a lot of people leave out this kind of stuff how i'm gonna trim my ends a little bit my ends weren't actually as bad as i thought they'd be so i line them up here this is how i avoid um you know when you cut in the back of your head to get that straight line um it's never going to be perfect when i do it myself but this is how i get it pretty close and then i'm going through each ponytail and dusting my ends so I just pick up the ponytail and the pieces that are sticking out. I look for little split ends and I, I never trim more than even like an eighth to a fourth of an inch. Nothing more than that when I'm dusting. I keep it very minor, but I trim what needs to be trimmed. And I think because I have layers, a lot of people just trim the very, very ends of their hair. But when you have layers, it's so, so important to go through and do this. So this is what it looks like just flat ironed freshly nothing else done to it another thing that a lot of people leave out is how they style their roots at the front of their hair i used to have a relaxer for half a decade y'all so this is how i do it i usually use a wax stick as you saw and then i will run a tiny hot comb through that and then once the the roots in the front are laid i use a waterless edge control and in this one i'm using the she is bomb edge control and as you can see here i just put two little rollers in while my hair was still a little warm from the flat iron and this this is my final result. Y'all know we got to do a little slow-mo at the end. It's right of passage. YouTube OGs. I feel like <laughs> this is how we got to do it. Let me know what y'all think. I'm so happy. This lasted a whole month. Can you believe it? And then also I brushed my hair out a little so y'all could see the true length because I have long layers. All right, and since I don't straighten my hair often anymore, I hope y'all really love these results. But let me pick this up. Whew. All right, y'all. One week later, I haven't used any additional heat in my hair. Um, still got a good amount of shine right here, as you can see. This is frizzed up from like face masks in the shower, but no biggie. Um, that's an easy fix for me. But I love y'all. Peace out, gang gang. I will see you in my next video. Bye.